I'm Melissa Chris, and we're giving you a first look at Tall Hall, Belmont's newest and largest residence hall to date. Information on the building has been relatively scarce, so Director of Residence Life Anthony Donovan gave us an inside look at the newest building. As its name suggests, Tall Hall will be the largest residence hall on campus by almost 50% and the second largest building on Belmont's campus next to the Curb Event Center. Russell's 418 people. Oh yeah. This is two, almost 610. It's just, I mean, it's 50% larger. And, and it, I know it's called, it's called Tall Hall for a reason, right? Or at least that's what everybody calls it, right? It really stands out to the city and you have such a great view of the city too. I mean, this has got a 360 degree view basically because of all the different, because of the angles that it goes and you can just see, and it's just so much taller than everything else. The 10 story residence hall will house upperclassmen students in rooms ranging from single room suite style to four and five person apartments. Many of these apartments have variations in layout to conserve space. And because of this, Belmont made changes to the furniture to fit the space, most notably in the form of sectional couches that split into each of their individual pieces to be moved around the space as needed. You can see why when we were talking about the furniture, when we were talking about earlier, that the common space is because of how the bedrooms and where they're around a corner or whatever, there, there may be a little variation from one place to the next, but uh, this is pretty standard of the, this is sort of looks like what you find in Dickens or Horrell, yeah. uh, except sort of the color scheme for this building. Students can also look forward to a new road connecting the Dickens parking garage to the hillside entrance to campus, so students will no longer need to use the access road to park in Dickens. It will eventually tie into Dickens and allow people to pass it from the Dickens garage back down to uh, the hillside uh, entrance in there and go out that way. Though the building is making significant progress toward completion, there's still plenty to be done. Even though it looks like it's really ready, there's lots and lots of work yeah. <laughs> that, that needs to be done. And it's little details that you may not appreciate but like the doors that are right there there's a lot of hardware there's outlet covers that have to go on and all that work takes when, when you're talking about it in your house maybe it takes a little bit of time to do it when you're talking about it and 10 stories tall you know putting outlet covers can take weeks even with a ton of work left to do half of the building will be ready to open in august with the second half opening for use by the spring semester for vnn i'm melissa Kritz.